Okay, this video today, we are going to go over how to add this Grandstream third-party uh, phone to Unify. And I'll put a link in the description to a video that Adam made. And it was a fantastic video and really helped me. But there was one thing that got hung up, and I reached out to Adam, and he actually really helped me. But his channel was called Gotwire, and... He, he does a great job walking through it, so I'm not going to walk through everything he does, but I'm going to tell you about kind of the system that I was setting up and the issues that I encountered. So what I was setting up with my um, at our warehouse is I was trying to do a new phone system, a VoIP system through Unify Talk and replace our existing phone system. Uh, one thing I needed to do, we already had a Wi-Fi router on site. We had internet and everything, but I needed to bring in a Dream Machine, so I brought in a Dream Machine, I plugged that into the Wi-Fi router, and then I was using one of Unify's uh, analog talk accessories to make it work. Now, I got that and I got the um, Grandstream phones because you can't do a third-party phone unless you at least have one piece of hardware from Unify. So you're going to have to get something. And I got the um, hundred dollar analog box, which was the cheapest way to do it. And then I have two Wi-Fi Grand Street phones. Now, what you're going to find is if you go through Adam's video, he's going to show you how you set it up and sign numbers and all that good stuff. And it worked really well. Now, what I found is I was setting it up and I didn't realize that my Wi-Fi phone, my Grandstream phone, was connected to my Wi-Fi router and it was this network and my Grand, uh, and my Unify network, my UDM, my Dream Machine, was this IP address. So what happens is these are two different IP addresses and I can't punch this in if I'm not actually on this network. So what I ended up having to do is I couldn't have, I was essentially having two routers competing. I had the Dream Machine that was a router and I had my Wi-Fi router as a router. So what I had to do is I had to change my Wi-Fi router into an access point to where it will mimic the same IP address and it's actually the same exact network. So if you fall into this and you can't figure out why Adam's video is not helping you, this will be a video that will really help you. You need to go to your router, Google how to make that router an access point. It's pretty simple. You're going to make that an access point, which just it means the Wi-Fi router is no longer doing routing capability. It's just being a, um, a Wi-Fi radio for your network in Unify. And then I have a second Wi-Fi router I also added somewhere else that was it as an access point to get me um, internet through more of our building. And it worked out really well and the phones work. So I hope this helps. This took me a while to figure it out. Um, Adam, huge shout out to you. You were a fantastic help. So kudos to him. Go watch his videos. Give him a thumbs up. And next week I'm going to show you how to port in a number, how I ported in our old analog number from uh, a phone provider into Unify Talk and how um, you have to do all that switch over. So hopefully that's helpful. Look for it next week and you'll see how this new phone system is going to save our money, save our company probably about $1,200 a year going from this and killing it, uh, canceling some of our old phone lines. Take care.